Right, so in here, uh, this was a six acre permanent pasture, uh, just a regular ryegrass, a small amount of white clover paddock. Um, and here we tried to do something a little bit different. We sprayed it off a couple of months ago uh, when we had plenty of grass, uh, let it die off. We, we quickly grass harrowed it and then we've direct drilled in our multi-species lay. So, in here, hopefully, you can see chicory, some plantain, uh, some red and some white clovers. We've got high sugar perennial ryegrasses and some timothy as well. So, the idea behind this is kind of two or threefold, really. Uh, as I said before, I know I'm over reliant on, on nitrogen. Um, this will be a zero or very low input system uh, for grazing. What I also fan find fantastic about it is, is uh, we're in Herefordshire near the Welsh border. We get fantastic grass growth in March. Unfortunately, with the kind of soil structure we have, we quite often can't get realistically get cattle grazing until, uh, well, so sometimes mid-April, by which case uh, we have far too much grass in all our paddocks and the whole uh, rotational grazing wedge system goes out the window. So. This is slower growing in the in the spring, um, which actually potentially is an advantage. It also flattens the curve in that uh, midsummer when ryegrass uh, is is falling back, the deep rooting chicory, plantain, red clover, etc., is really cracking on, enjoying the warmth and making the most of it. So um, hopefully, I have a, a more level supply of grass through the season. We won't silage this. We will just. Uh, graze it. We have planted about 30 acres of this stuff uh, and so I'm hoping to be able to rotationally graze just one group uh, on the 30 acres and then we can weigh and compare how their growth rates compare with everything else and know whether we, we're, we're heading down the right path or not. Um, also the the chicory um, will supposedly help reduce our reliance on wormer. Uh, it, it is a natural wormer to a certain extent um, and so we'll be looking at, at whether it's having an effect uh, from that side of things as well. So, uh, yeah, it's exciting. It's different. Um, it's a little bit patchy further up there. I think we're a bit late to try and drill in any more seed, but we can always slot in a little bit more in the spring after, after our first grazing if necessary. But uh, it's certainly very different to what we used to. It follows the the whole soil regen side of things, which I'm obviously very interested in, as I'm sure everyone is. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's just very different. So fingers crossed, watch this space and I'll let you know how we get on.